in the name of Allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. I am Fuha Amir from Department of Biomedical Engineering and Technology in University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, and associated with a research group named as Syndicate of Embedded and Electronic Design. Rich and useful information can be obtained from the muscles and researchers can use such information in a wide class of clinical and engineering applications by only measuring surface electromyography signals. Today, I am going to represent research that include electromyography data for classification of load using empirical mode decomposition and feature analysis. These are the main outlines of the presentation that will be discussed as we will progress through the presentation. Starting from the motivation, the motivation behind this research is as we are living in world of modernization surrounded by thousands of machines, manual lifting tasks occur in work environment, even in the presence of the machinery. Numerous devices are there to support back muscles or other muscles in lifting tasks. This can be improved by managing these devices and manufacturing them on basis of data of muscle force during different weight load tasks. These are called as assistive devices. Assistive devices can also be used for the patients suffering from muscle diseases like hemiparesis, myotrophy, muscle fatigue, etc. Before we uh, go to the research work, first we need to know what is surface EMG. It is a non-invasive method for recording muscle excitations. Electrodes are placed on muscle belly on surface of the skin which make this method totally painless. EMG is widely used in clinical characterization of neuromuscular pathologies, biomedical and neurophysiological applications. The data required for surface EMG is quite reliable which can be used to design a prosthetic arm. Load bearing function has been assigned in this work. It is basically extension and flexion of muscles. Flexor compartment of muscles include biceps, pronator teres, and brachioradialis, whereas extensor compartment muscles are triceps and extensor compartment of forearm. Types of muscle extractions occur during load bearing function that can be defined by change in muscle length. In isotonic contraction, muscle length changes with constant tension in muscle fibers. Further type of isotonic contractions include concentric contraction and eccentric contraction. In concentric contraction, muscles shortens, bicep curl, in eccentric contraction, elongation of muscles occurs. In isometric contraction, force or tension is created in muscle fiber without change in length of muscle fiber. This typically occurs in hand for gripping tasks. The previous research work that has been done in this domain is shown. Ahmed Charlie has biceps muscles and gained accuracy of 66.7% with time domain features and artificial neural network as classifier. Same arm muscles were used by D. Tota in 2017 and accuracy obtained was 77% with ANN. In 2019, muscles activity of back muscles was used in load classification and accuracy obtained was 81% with time domain features in multinomial logistic regression technique. This is the block diagram which includes the steps that were followed to get results on this research work. The data acquired was by Biopack system for EMG data collection two subjects, one male and one female with right arm as dominant arm were given lifting tasks of weight lifting including weights of 1 kg, 3 kg and 7 kg. Negative lead with electrode was placed at insertion of the biceps brachii, positive on the insertion point of brachioradialis, ground on the insertion point of flexor compartment muscles. Total 50 number of samples were taken each of 30 seconds from each subject with each task. Human body surface continuously emits electromyography radiation and avoid exposure to ambient noise on surface of earth is impracticable. The dominant concern for the ambient noise arises from 60 Hz or 50 Hz from power sources which is called as power line interfaces. Movement of cable connecting electrodes and amplifier creates motion artifacts. The frequency range of this noise is usually 1 to 10 Hz. 
Empirical mode decomposition is an efficient method in dealing nonlinear and varying signals. It was used for the denoising purposes and extracting region of interest from our electrophysiological signal. IMS extracted from simple signal are illustrated with each category of load. Total 10 IMS was extracted from all the load signals. IMF 9 and 10 did not contain useful content that could be used for distinguishing load classes, so they were excluded. As it can be observed from the waveforms, IMS greater than 4 are usually artifacts. From experiment analysis, IMS greater than 4 were excluded as noise. After that, we got process signal composed of IMF 1, 2, 3, and 4. Figure on left side shows uh, raw data and right figures show signal after preprocessing. From the figure, it can be noted that when biceps started concentric contraction, EMG magnitude began to increase. And the second rise in EMG magnitude is when eccentric contraction occurs. Both rise in magnitude is beginning of the lifting forearm and lowering of the forearm. Feature extraction is the method for the transforming information into decreased set of feature representation called as feature factors. Features shown in table help in distinguishing EMG signals for their classes. Classification is the final step of processing EMG signals to distinguish between load classes using extractive feature. Support vector machine showed best results among different classifiers. 10 4 classification uh, cross validation was used which is ideal for the sm small data sets comprehensive analysis was performed and table shows combination of features and accuracy obtained with these combination through SVMQA this figure shows scatter plot between root and uh, some square level and log energy experiment was expanded to get better results by including different classification methods like fine tree quadratic discriminant, kernel naive base, cubic SVM, median KNN, and cubic KNN. Their results are shown graphically on selected features. Best accuracy achieved was with cubic SVM classifier for given data set. The confusion matrix shows class-wise accuracy. Now, I would like to summarize. In this paper, methodology for low classification through EMG signals were proposed. The proposed methodology include pre-processing through empirical mode decomposition and detailed analysis of the feature. Selective feature set was fed into the SVM4 classification with three load classes. The study achieved 99% accuracy for classes 1 kg, 3 kg, and 7 kg. As we can see from the uh, cubic confusion uh, matrix, 7 kg load class had accuracy of 100%. As we have seen from the confusion matrix, uh, the 7 kg load class has accuracy of 100% because feature extracted were affecting this signal more than other two. This research work can, more, uh, can be more validated by collecting more data samples and by increasing uh, uh, weight classes. Finding of this research can be used to improve support devices in load lifting tasks, active assistive devices like exoskeleton for rehabilitation purposes in myopathy diseases or artificial muscles called as robotics. And that brings us to the end. I would like to thank you for your time and attention to, for today. If anyone has any questions, please do comment. I would be interested to answer them.